Hello, and welcome back to the channel. We do educational and entertaining videos on information technology. My name is Drake Garibay. I'm the Senior Systems Engineer for ReasonableITService.com. We also offer professional IT support services for business. I mean, seriously, why should you be worrying about all these time vampire, wall head banging, frustrating IT issues taken away from valuable time in your company instead of worrying about your business? You shouldn't. Leave it to the professionals. Let us handle that for you. Give us a call. Welcome to Reasonable IT. Get a question for y'all. How are all my fellow sysadmins out there managing your Microsoft Windows updates across your Windows servers? For today's video, I'm going to show you how we monitor our Windows server clusters for Windows updates, and we do so using Zapix. I'm also going to show you how you can query for Windows updates from right within Zabbix. It's very convenient and find out exactly what pending Windows updates are available on that particular host. And the first step is installing Zabbix agent on your Windows server. I'm going to grab the version compatible with our Zabbix server, which is 7.0. I'll use agent 2 in my case. Let's go ahead and install this. Next, I accept. Next, next. Go ahead and put in the IP address of your Zabbix server. These defaults are typically OK. Normally, we would enable PSK, but since this demonstration, I'm not going to get into that right now. Add agent location to path. That's fine. Next, install. Yes. Fantastic. We have the Zabbix agent installed. Next up, we are going to need the PowerShell scripts, which is downloadable from our blog as well. Link in the description. Let's open this up, extract it. And what we need to do is test and make sure that these scripts work on our Windows server. So if you're having any trouble running them, run PowerShell as admin and then run this command. And that should enable the ability to run PowerShell scripts. I'm just going to test these straight away because I know I already I have already enabled my execution policy. List updates is going to give you more detail about what updates are not installed. And these just give you a number back, a count. You might be wondering what is count all and then just count uninstalled. Well, all includes defender definition updates and this one does not. We were having an issue with alert flapping. The Defender updates on Windows servers tends to be like literally every day or every other day. So we were getting triggers every time there was a Defender update. It was really annoying. So we took it out and we told the script, don't look for that. And yeah, that's why we have two different versions here. I'm going to go ahead and edit this. It's going to open up in PowerShell ISE. And I'm going to hit that play button on once just to make sure that it works. On this particular system, I do have some pending updates. And as you can see, we got a result back, one update. Now, if we want to know more about what updates are actually available, we can run this script here. As you can see, we have under the category is installed. These two are set to false. So that means that we are missing these updates. All right, so now we've established that the scripts work great. We are ready to move on. Oh, wait, let me rewind a little bit, guys. I forgot we need to copy this these agent scripts to the correct directory. So don't copy this whole folder because it's got this writs on the front of it. You need to copy this. This is the correct name that is gonna be leveraged when Zabbix is executing the scripts remotely. So go to this PC. If you installed Zabbix Agent 2, it can be found under Prog Files, Zabbix Agent 2. If you installed Zabbix Agent 1, the 2 is not gonna be there. Okay, it's very important because if the paths are wrong, it's not going to be able to find it. Oh, okay, I already put mine in there. Great. So that's how it should look. And we need to edit this config file. But I'm going to show you a little trick. I highly recommend getting Notepad++. Run it as admin. This way you don't have any permission issues when trying to edit the config file. As you can see, mine was already loaded from when I was looking at it previously. But in your case, you'll probably have to go to File, Open and then navigate and open your config file. Great. 
we have a couple parameters we need to adjust, such as timeout. I'm going to do a search for that. Option timeout. So under that code block, you want to put timeout. We're going to increase it to 30 seconds. We need to do the allow key system run. So deny key. Let's search for that. Deny key. Option deny key is going to go underneath this. Boom. All right, what do we got? Okay, a few user parameters. Highlight and copy all this. Whoops, get that extra quote in there. Copy, blah, blah, blah. User parameter. Let's do a quick search for that. Option parameter, user parameter, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. This is it right here. Okay, great. And remember, make sure your path is correct. So once again, if you went with agent one, this two is not gonna be there. Make sure that's correct. Save that. We're done editing the local config file on the agent itself. Let's do a run. Services MFC, MSC, Z for Zabbix, and let's restart the Zabbix service on our endpoint. Okay, so we need to adjust the timeout now on the Zabbix server itself. I'm already connected to it. You're gonna run this command and you can nano it if you want, but just modify your Zabbix server comp file. I've already done that, but you're gonna look for this code block, option timeout, and you're gonna increase it to timeout 30. Save and then restart your Zabbix service on the server. That's the command you're gonna do it with right there. Sudo systemctl restart Zabbix server. Okay, we're all good there. So create a new item for your host on the front end. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into Zabbix. I've already added my host. So if you haven't done that yet, create your host and get it connected. Okay, you wanna make sure your host name is the actual host name of your system. And we're gonna do Windows by Zabbix agent was the template I used. Agent, blah, blah, blah. Make sure everything's good there. As you can see, I'm successfully connected. Great. So now we're going to add that item. We're going to do create item, count uninstalled Windows updates. The key is going to be count uninstalled updates, type information, numeric unsigned, make sure that IP is correct. We're going to change this to one day. You can change it to whatever you want. This is important though. Go to override. We're going to increase the timeout once again to 30 seconds. So let's do add on that. Next up, we need to do a trigger and let's create trigger. Count uninstalled updates, Windows updates available. Let's do high and our alerts are set. If it's high, we get an email alert. Great, the expression is very important. And that's gonna be this guy right here. But you also wanna replace host name with the actual host name of your server, which is this right here in my case. Blah, 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 got that in there. Do, do, do. Everything looks good, let's do add on that. And we should be in business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that item, just so we don't have to wait. There it is, count uninstalled updates. I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna do execute now. Okay, so I went and I looked under monitoring hosts and right away, you can see we have a problem here. Let's find out what that is. Aha, Windows updates available. And hip hip hooray guys. Now anytime Windows updates are detected, it will be checked once a day or whatever you say your interval to. And if updates are detected, boom, we get in a trigger alert just like that. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, so here is the last piece of the puzzle, guys. As we can see, we are being alerted about a problem because Windows updates are detected on the system. However, we don't know which Windows updates those are. So here's where we're going to implement a custom script under alerts, go to scripts. And I've already implemented list Windows update script. All you're going to do is click create script and you will fill out the parameters according to this right here. So list Windows updates, manual host action, script, Zabbix agent, and this is the code that you're going to want to use. Once again, this will be available on the blog, so you can simply copy and paste it. But then once you have that script on your Zabbix front end, 
You can go back to monitoring hosts and check out how cool this is. We can click on that and we have our script listed here, our custom script list Windows updates. And what this is gonna do is provide us what specific updates are pending for this host right here in Zabbix. How convenient is this guys and how cool is this? So we can see that we need this update right here. And that's super cool because again, we don't have to go RDP to the host or get in front of the host and figure out, okay, well, what updates are available? Zabbix will tell you straight away. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you liked it. You have any questions, comments, or concerns, reach out on the blog. You can leave a comment. Leave a comment in the YouTube video, and we'll do our best to help you out. Please like and subscribe, guys. This is a lot of work goes into this stuff, so your, your support is much appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one.